Hello, in this video we'll be looking at a question from the A-level paper 1, more specifically paper 1-2 from the year 2023. And um, This is the question we'll be looking at today and I'll be doing the solution out on the whiteboard, hopefully like uh, just like your teacher would if you were in school. If you are looking for another question from this paper, you should be able to find that in a playlist below the video. Okay, let's get to this question. In question two, we're going to be dealing with expanding two terms and solving some algebraic uh, questions. They have, they've set it up like this. They've said the co the, if we expand this out, x plus a to the power six, if we expand it out, the coefficient of x to the power four is p. If we expand this out, the coefficient of x squared is q, and then p plus q is equal to 276, and find out what a is. Solve for a, basically. So what you could do is you could multiply all these terms out. There's four terms there. It would take uh, probably only take three or four minutes, and you could find the x squared part. And then you could multiply this out. This will take a little longer, um, but still, probably only five or six minutes, and find the x to the power of four term. The problem is, one, it takes too long, and two, you're bound to make a mistake. So, good news, you have the binomial expansion, and they give you the formula for this in your, um, in your, uh, your list of equations. Uh, I haven't zoomed in enough, so I can't quite see it, but I, I, I roughly remember it. It's n over n choose or, um, well, let me just do it specifically for this, uh, for these two guys. It is the six term, so the six things here, six choose four. Or two works as well, actually, but we won't get into that for the moment. Um, so six choose four, because we're looking for the um, x to the power of four. Six choose four, x to the power of four, and then whatever's here, a to the power of six minus four, which is two. And then, yeah, sorry, the expansion is, what is six choose four? It is, have I wrote it down there? Oh, it's 15. Okay, so 15 a squared x to the power of four. So that means this guy here, this is the coefficient. So 15 a squared is equal to p. That's all we need to do. Instead of doing six minutes of tedious multiplying and expanding, we use the coefficient, we use the binomial expansion. Doing the same thing here, we want the, it's four choose two, we want the coefficient of x squared, and there's four total, and it's ax, squared. Remember it's not just x squared, it's whatever the first term is. And um, next term then is 3, it's 4 minus 2 is 2. And uh, what is 4 choose 2? 6. Uh, so we have 6 a squared, x squared and 9. Or multiply 6 by 9 we get 54 a squared, x squared. And again they wanted the coefficient. The coefficient is 54 54a squared is equal to q. So now we know what p and q, that's, a, that's, that's you'll get a lot of marks for that. That's p and q found, let's go ahead and try and solve this. So that's 15a squared plus 54a squared is equal to 276. That's 69a squared is equal to 276. Divide both sides by 69 we get uh, a squared is, what does that go in? Four times. a squared is four times. And now to give you a clue, well, let me first say, lots of students will just write a is equal to two. Um, you will lose marks for that. Uh, because they gave you, especially because they gave you a clue here. They said, find the possible values of the constant a. So they gave you a clue, there's gonna be more than one answer. The answer is plus or minus two. Because there's two numbers that uh, square to get four. Two would work and minus two would work. And, th and that's it, that's your full marks for that question. If you have any follow-on questions, put them in the comments below.